Hi, everyone. It's Arthur. Happy Monday. That's right. It's Monday. I was supposed to do a show on Friday. However, I did a show with Val on Friday. And towards the end, I started getting a migraine. So kind of took the night off. And it's still following me over the weekend. And one of the meds they give me kind of makes me into a zombie. So yeah, I felt like a Republican. Anyway, so welcome to my channel at Arthur Lose Your Mind. Just kidding. ArthurEaseYourMind.com is my website. And here on YouTube, Arthur Ease Your Mind. So if you're new here, thank you for stopping by. You can also subscribe. And in fact, when I get 4.5 thousand subscribers. Yeah, 45. I hate saying that number. But 4,500 subscribers. I'll be giving away, I said last time, one free reading. Nah, we're going to make it three. All right. Three one hour readings for 4.5 thousand subscribers. So hit the subscribe button, hit the likes, hit the shares, and all the good stuff. All right. So also, good news, I'll be going to the studio on Thursday. And I'll be recording two scripts, finally finish them. One is called Awaken Intuition. And the other one is Unleash Your Creativity. So they're all done. And I've got some time to studio set aside. So it should be fun. So in the meantime, I did get a funny little note from Barb. It said, Arthur, look forward to watching your next video. Well, get in line, pick a number, because that's what I'm feeling like. Just a little tip that works for us when the internet is slow. Unplug everything from the electricity and wait a minute and plug it back in. It always works. Good luck. Well, actually, I was laughing when I read this. I mentioned it on Val's show, but too, because, you know, you get to that age where everyone tells you, you know, you should go to a lawyer. You really should do this. So I went to a lawyer. And then the first thing I said is, I have a favor to ask. Can I leave all my debt to my brother? He just like looked at me. He's not very humorous. And then and then I said, look, he was talking about living wills and in case I'm, you know, on life support and all that. So I said, look, here's what I want you to do. Would you write something up that says, you know what? I understand you have to pull the plug. But if you do, count to 10. Then plug it back in, see if that works. He didn't think that was very funny. However, I did put it on a card. It's in my wallet next to my Neptune Society card. Yeah, I'm a member of Neptune Society. That way, in case I croak, you know, off to the crematorium. And then I told my sister, she's like, well, what am I supposed to do with your ashes? I'm like, I don't know. Put amongst the plants and even Marcus. I paid the rent. Anyway. So moving on, it's been a wild weekend, just slugging along, doing a song. But oh my God, has there been insanity or is there insanity? First of all, there's rumor going around that Putin had a heart attack. I always say like with Mr. Trump, you have to have a heart to die. Or in this case, to have a heart attack. I'm not wishing ill to anyone. However... Let's just send him lots of love and light so that he gets on to the next lifetime. Okay? Oh, excuse me. Okay, somebody wrote me about this too. They asked me if I had like acid reflux or if I had some indigestion problems because once in a while it seems like I'm like kind of burping a little bit. Well, full disclosure, I'm diabetic. And they put me on Ozempic. I'm the first person in the history of the world that gained weight on his epic, but that's okay. The numbers have been incredible though. I will say I, four months ago, my A1C was 7.6, not the best. However, a week ago, it was 5.3. And the first thing the says, what are you doing? I'm like, well, Pete's in, M&Ms are not part of my food groups anymore. I'm not drinking soda. So he was all happy for me. And he said, well, you keep this up. You know, and I said, yeah, it's a good 5.3 until I go to 7-Eleven. Me and Pixie Sticks. You know, what can I say? So anyway, moving on. Putin, heart attack. Mm -hmm. 
again, surround him with light, white light and let him go on, on to his next lifetime. It's like I always say, I surround Trump with like big purple light, purple light, pink light, white light, big bubble, like, you know, from the Wizard of Oz. I surround him with a bubble. I didn't say put air in it. Just kidding. So anyway, happy Monday. Yes, it's the 23rd. Can you believe it's already October? My God, I guess I have to take my St. Patrick's Day stuff down or just leave them up for well, be here before you know it. But anyway, on this Putin stuff, it's kind of interesting because I've said, what, a couple shows ago that I felt Putin was not going to be around when we got to the end of March. That was not an April Fool's joke either. That's what I keep on picking up. So let's just... Everybody reminds me when I'm wrong. So let's me hope this time everybody can remind me remind me that I was right. Okay. So take it from there. Now, someone also asked here, Ramana. Question. When we have gotten to the other side of crazy, will the historians label Trump as Putin's puppet? Thanks. Um, yeah, I, I guess you could say that. I'm looking for my sock puppet, but I can't find it right at the moment. Um, that way I could feel like Putin and this could be Trump. Actually, I used it on a show the other night with Deanna because we had the little fire mishap. And I said, I'm going to be stuck doing entertainment if that happens again. And I'll bring sock puppets. So I brought sock, sock puppets. I'm cute. So, yeah, I would feel like Putin, but I don't want to put my hand up, you know, you know, where with Trump. <laughs> but speaking of Russia, Sister Sheba, where is the Wagner group and what are they doing? Well, I always felt Hamas was steered on by Russia. I feel... Hamas was trained by people from the Wagner Group. Personal opinion only, entertainment members only, all that good stuff. But really, it's now coming out that a lot of the guys from Hamas, they showed up, but they had these little booklets and pamphlets as to what to do and where to go and where to stand. And it's the same thing that the Russian troops had when they invaded Ukraine. Little booklets and little things where to do, what to stand. So, hmm, do you think Mr. Pudi had something to do with it? Yeah, I think so. Again, entertainment purposes only, so don't hit me too hard. Now, I will say when it comes to the Middle East, I'm not an expert. Okay, going on the record. However, as a psychic, I pick up things. Uh, Crazy Shark 22. Hi, Arthur. Will Hamas and terrorist organization be taken down soon? Well, it always depends what someone says by soon. The words my guides tell me, my sources, are it will be dismantled. Dismantled is the word they keep on coming up with. Now, the one thing while meditating on this whole thing, it's showing that we have to be humanitarians. Yes, there are hostages, but we can't go blazing in there and just blowing up buildings, not knowing if they're in there or not. We have to do negotiations. Now, I've been saying for the last three, four weeks, or three weeks, that sometime around November 7th, 8th, 9th, and 10th, I feel there's going to be some type of resolution. I feel the UN may be involved, but the thing is, quietly, um, Dark Brandon has been doing a lot of the good work here. Quietly. He's a Scorpio. He's not going to brag about everything he does. He just does it. And Kalahua 07, She's a hula dancer, hula teacher, hula hoop teacher. Yeah, she wrote me, saw me. Do you see Doc Brandon reaching out 
to the Iranian government. What about Palestinians? Will Dark Brennan make a 60-40 deal with Palestinian government, 40 to the Palestinians? I'm not going to go into this, the details of that. All I'm going to tell you is things are going to be taken care of. Okay? I often feel in time, Gaza and Israel will be two separate states. Don't scream, don't holler, don't throw things at me. I am not any semantic. I'm just reading the way I read. Because the thing is, what we have to remember is not all Palestinians are members of Hamas. And not all Hamas are Palestinians. Okay? But I understand the whole thing about with Israel, you hit us, we're going to hit you back. Maybe twice as hard. That's good. But as Trump keeps on like egging the flames, egging the flames, Biden is just saying, look, don't make the same mistakes we did. Learn from them. That being said, though, I think Mr. Netanyahu, he's not going to be around for long. I mean, in power. You know, I don't feel he's everyone's favorite at the moment. But it is what it is. I feel the hostages. We got two more hostages released today. Yeah, he says total of four. The, the mother and daughter and then two elderly. So I feel it's I feel it's going to work out somehow. Again, there's going to be some resolutions with a ceasefire. And once that's negotiated, then they can all sit down at the table. I know, Pollyanna here, but that's what I get. Now, Anne asked, will the UN or some worldwide group designate Jerusalem as a UNESCO historical site? Will it be an entity of itself, guarded by a coalition of world nationals and not owned by either Israel or Palestine? Thank you. Now, I, had, I actually looked that up. The United Nations Educational, Scientific, and Cultural Organization, UNESCO, is a specialized agency of the United Nations, the UN, aimed at promoting world peace and security through international cooperation, education, arts, sciences, culture, etc. I still feel Jerusalem will be a part of Israel. Okay. I don't see that becoming its own separate entity. Now, Ursula asks, will Saudi Arabia attack Iran to get closer to, to Israel in the long run? Many thanks. With lots of love and light from Europe. Hi, Europe. Ursula, I'm not seeing a war starting between Saudi Arabia and Iran. I'm not. Again, I've been called Pollyanna before, but I'm not seeing it. I feel when resolutions are taking place, all that kind of good stuff, there will be meetings. Will they be sitting at the same table, shaking hands? That I can't say. All I know is that things will stabilize. And Hamas will be dismantled. Um, Mel asked, Mel Yes, hi Arthur, do you see if Iranian people can get rid of the current Islamic regime? Actually, I get a yes on that. I mean, it's been around for a thousand years, but what I'm getting is in time. That is the first thing the guide said to me. In time time that's what i heard but i'm also feeling it's going to be the women that are going to spearhead a lot of the changes because they're done they are done and i want to say within four years there's going to be lots of changes on that landscape there okay with stabilization so in the meantime everyone 
love, light, white light, purple light, pink light, whatever it is, please send it over there. And then while you're at it, the rest of the world, into every dark nook and cranny you can think of, surround all the wonderful people. And even then, what we would consider not so wonderful people so that they can see the error of their ways. And always keep our leaders like Mr. Biden in white light. Okay? He's our next leader. He's getting in. I do not see Trump becoming our next president. No. Now, don't you love the clown car? The gift that keeps on giving? And we're talking to the Speaker of the House. Now, from day one, I said Jim Jordan was not going to become the Speaker of the House. No matter how much Trump and played his hand in the background and know how much Hannity and his little minions were calling up wives and threatening and all it all backfired on that anyway. But I still find it fascinating that out of the three votes, the last vote, which is secret vote, he got less and less and less. I think he got 80, 80 votes or something like that. So yeah. So, Jim Jordan, welcome to Dancing with the Stars. Mm. You're not going to be a secret of the house. In the meantime, who is going to be Speaker of the House? Well, before I get that, here's a great question from Lucia. Do you think that certain Republican Congress members schemed this mess they've created in order to shut the government down right now? Jordan's indecisiveness about whether he's running for senate or for speaker or not makes me think this it certainly seems like delay tactics to me hmm delay tactics who does that sound like delay hmm honestly i think the republican congress members should have their pay withheld until they can come together and implement a good solution to get our government running again your bright light shines, Arthur. I always look forward to your posts. Many blessings to you for sharing your insight with us. Thank you for stopping by. If it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be here. Seriously, 66, reinventing myself on YouTube. Who thought, Who knew? Well, actually, Mel did. He predicted it. So, um, yeah, the clown car people, who's going to be the next speaker? I've got some notes here somewhere. I'm sorry, people. I'm usually organized. Not. Now, there are nine new ones. Nine new people coming forward. Gary Palmer, Mike Johnson, Tom Elmer, or Emmer, Dan Meiser, Kevin Hearn, Pete Sessions, Byron Douglas, Jack Berman, and Austin Scott. Now, it seems that they want, some people are saying they want Tom Emmer. But then again, he cast a doubt on the 2020 election. He's an election denier and supported lawsuit to throw election to Trump. He signed an amicus brief for that. And out of all of these people, the only one that Pete Sessions has brought the most bills to the House, I mean, onto the floor and worked on the most legislation, where Jim Jordan, you know, 16 years, nothing. But out of all the names, I'm still liking Austin Scott. He's still a Demo He's not a Democrat. He's worked with Democrats, but he's still a Republican. He's against abortion. He's against gun rights. He's against gay marriage. He's against whatever the Republicans tell him to be against. However, he does cross the aisle. So, but at least he's not like David Duke Light like some of the others, or Mega Light, like some of the others. So the bottom line is who's going to be the next Speaker of the House? I don't know. I really don't know. But what I will say is the next Speaker of the House is going to be someone that 
is going to get there with the help of the Democrats. He won't be able to stand alone with Republicans. The Republicans are not going to be able to bring somebody in because no matter who they vote for, there's that little group of, oh God, I just keep saying horrible words. I can't use them on, on here because I'll, then I will be the potty mouth psychic. But people like Gates and all the rest, I mean, they'll just, they can't, they'll create chaos. And chaos begets chaos when you're Republican. But I feel the Democrats, you know, it's like Biden said, you know, why don't you come over and sit at the at the table with the adults, people? Because they're just having a little food fight amongst themselves at the kids' table. It's disgusting. But whoever gets in will be there working with the Democrats. A lot of people may not like it, but that's the only way they're going to get someone in here. Now, we've got a lot of things also, like there's a gun to everyone's head, no pun intended. But basically, it's that whole idea of Biden's asking for $106 billion in aid. Well, somebody's got to approve that. And that's the house, the purse. The thing is, it's the aid for Israel and the Ukraine. So with, and we're already sending, you know, humanitarian relief to Gaza. I believe it's through Egypt. So anyway, again, I'm not 100%. This is not my forte. The Middle East, that is. But all this being said, we're also facing another debt ceiling. I mean, it's manufactured. I mean, they're clutching their pearls. Oh, my God. Well, you created it. But then... These are the kids that make the mess and expect the adults to clean it up. The only adults in the room are the Democrats. Period. Now, is there going to be a government shutdown? Again, Pollyanna here. I want to say 51% no. The rest, 49%, yes. That's how close it is. It's going to depend who the Speaker of the House is going to be. I do feel the Speaker of the House, I don't feel it's going to be another four weeks. Because let's face it, November 17th, we're going for a shutdown. I feel before then. I actually feel... I was getting around Halloween, around the 31st or the 1st. Halloween, we'll see who shows up in what costume. If it's the 1st, it's All Saints Day. Yay. So we'll see. But what I'm saying in the bottom line is as I ramble on here, have faith. Have faith. Because no matter what goes down, it's temporary. Mark my words. Hakeem Jeffries will be the Speaker of the House when the Democrats take over. And he's going to be brilliant. Also, he is Nancy Pelosi willing to give him whatever support he needs. And she's a smart cookie. Of course she is. She's an Aries. Now, Trump, the grift that keeps on grifting. Someone did ask if I saw Trump fleeing to Saudi Arabia, as other readers have saw. No, I don't. I mean, I, personal opinion, if that guy was to get into his, his bigly jet, it has to be bigly because his hands are small and he has to make up for other things. I wonder what size shoes he, shoes he wears. To hold a 215 pound man. Anyway. What I'm getting here is that there are now three people in the Georgia 
in, you know, in, in Georgia that have flipped. The latest ones being Chesbro, Powell and Chesbro. You know, we want an early trial. Okay. And they gave up before they even picked the jury. So, so what does that mean for the rest of those indicted? Did you ever see a commercial for IHOP? They're going to be flipping the flapjacks. Really, seriously. You know, get the syrup ready. It's going to be fun. Or Mrs. Butterworth. But at the same time, what I like about all this is they have to plead guilty. You know, they have to turn everything over. You know, Oh, and then some clever podcast called it Cheese, what was it? Cheese and Krakens. Anyway, they're all going to be flipping, flipping over. Now, this is also for the state. Now, whatever comes out in the state, do you think Jack Smith is going to completely ignore it? Of course not. Of course not. You know, how many times have I seen the Hindenburg since I've been doing this show? Alito, Hindenburg. The Supreme Court Justices, Hindenburg. Clarence Thomas, Hindenburg. Trump, Hindenburg. Georgia, Hindenburg. Oh, the humanity. Anyway, moving forward. It's 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 typical, like I told the story about, you know, going crabbing with grandfather. You know, you put the crabs in a bucket. You don't put a net on it because they all grab each other and come back in. So that's what this is going to be. So as I've said once, I'll say it again. Get the popcorn ready. I'm going to Costco and get tubs of butter for you all. But I don't see him fleeing Saudi Arabia. I mean, again, if you were to get in his big jet and a bigly jet, and people were aware of it, I think they would like basically scramble fighter jets and force them down. You know, entertainment purposes only, my humble opinion. You know, your favorite little psyche from Los Angeles, adjacent Beverly Hills. Now, Linda Walker, love your videos. Thank you, thank you, thank you. When will the maggots insurrectionists in Congress be indicted? and tried. We're so tired of waiting for these creeps to be gone. I agree. But as I always say, it's not in our time, it's in God's time. Or in this case, Jack Smith time. It's going to happen. I know, I know, I know. You know, we want this all wrapped up in a bow like Christmas. Well, I feel Judge Santos is going to be wrapped up in a bow by Christmas. Yep. I feel he'd be gone. And then you're also at somebody else's GGMA. Will Matt Gates be booted from Congress? He's like a bad case of hemorrhoids. Don't give hemorrhoids a bad name. Matt Gates. I wonder if he's going to be dancing with the stars with, with Jim Jordan and and everyone else. That'd be fun. No. He's going to get booted. But I'm also feeling this is going to be more after the first of the year. I keep on getting that we get to the end of the first quarter. April's going to bring a lot of changes. Or in the sign of Aries. They found with us Aries. And... The thing is, the MAGA people, 
They're just nuts. Yeah, personal opinion. They're nuts. But when push comes to shove, the rational adults in the room, the independents, the non-MAGA Republicans, the Democrats, they're going to bring things back together again as we get into 2024, into 2025, after the election. So my favorite three words, vote, vote, vote. And I'm not talking about, like I was saying, not the big ticket items only. I'm talking about from school boards on up. Hell, I even go for the Rotary Club. You know, because they're like a bad cancer trying to get in in the school districts. And look, my parents sent me to Catholic school. They paid good money for that. And now these people want religion to be taught in schools. It's called a public school. Sorry, not your public, the public. So, you know, if you don't like it, you don't like the books in, in the library, fine. Take your kids home. Homeschool them. That way I'm sure they can read Mein Kampf and everything else. You teach them German. Or maybe some Russian. Yeah. But um, why take down books that other kids want to read? I mean, this whole book banning, oh, it just leaves a bad taste in my mouth. It really, really does. Because it was 70 years ago this year where the Nazis started burning books, going after gays, going after the perverts, going after the Jews. And they started banning with by banning books. Does it sound vaguely familiar? And if nobody says anything, they get away with it. I think that's one of the reasons why I'm doing this show. Why Spirit wants me to do YouTube. I'd be sitting there watching Netflix right now, but they want me to do YouTube. It's because there's a lot of change coming. But in order for this change to happen, there has to be people to help the change move forward. That's why I keep on saying we are in an energy shift. So get out there and change the energy for the better. All right. Like I said, white light every in every nook and cranny on this planet. I dare you. <laughs> of course you'll do it. Oh, one of my favorite ladies. Angelic alchemy. Thank you, Arthur, for brightening our lives with your insight and humor. Yes, he's I'll, one day I'll just as a good humor man. How's that? My question is regarding Sarah Huckabee Sanders. You know, I got yelled at for calling her the hand burglar one time. Somebody wrote me a nasty comment about it. Yeah. Someone called Delete. So it was, it was pretty nice. Will the Lectern Gate, a.k.a. falsely financially financial documents pertaining to a lectern that was quote-unquote purchased for $19,000 when it turns out that the lectern purchased was not even close to that purchase price? Will that be her downfall? Thank you. Her daddy taught her well, didn't he? And then working in the White House, she learned a lot of good stuff there too. But all good things come to an end and she will have to step down from the lectern. When? I don't know when her gig is up, but I don't see her getting reelected. Mm -mm. Not at all. I wonder if they had to build the lectern. And if they did, what did she do? Call Thumbtack and get a lot of little kids to build it? Because don't forget, she's the one that's getting rid of all the labor laws, the child labor laws, where she's at. It's crazy. That way they don't have to pay insurance. They don't have to pay large wages. Get the kids to do it. Yeah. I'd rather mow lawns. 
Okay. Sweetie darling Lulu. Hey, Arthur. Will Gabrielle Hansen become mayor of Franklin, Tennessee? She has white nationalists, neo-Nazis, and KK ties, KKK ties. She is not hiding it. When I looked at this, I didn't Google her or anything. I just like pulled a couple cards on it and got no. Gotta know. But what I did get is if she does get in, do you know the lifespan of the butterfly is basically a day? So very short lived. I feel scandal around this girl, woman. And there's some ugly, ugly stuff that can go forward. Ugly, ugly, ugly. And she won't be able to hide it. For some reason, they think, you know, this negative stuff is a badge of courage. No, it may be in their book, but the rest of us is like, that's a band. That's deep discourage. I'm not going to vote for that crazy person. Anyway, I hope you have a good time. Okay, Virgo. Now this kind of like, I read over this number of times. Virgo in, in Canyon, I guess. I've heard more than a couple of readers say that something is going to happen, like violence, that is going to shake all Americans to the core. Do you see anything like this? If so, does it include politicians being murdered by gun violence or bombs? Thank you. This has been on my mind for a while. I'll be honest, I've heard this as well from other readers and other shows. Have I seen this? My guides haven't showed me this. Sometimes I'll get something the day before or the morning of, but this I, I'm not getting. It's just like, you know, a lot of the psychic community was criticized well, if you're such good psychics, how come you didn't pick up 9-11? Well, sometimes the powers that be don't want us to know what's going to come down. It's part of the life lessons. Now we know as a fact that Gene Dixon did predict that something with the World Trade Centers was coming down. And then there was supposedly the test run where the van had explosives and it went off in the subterranean parking lot of one of the towers and so everyone chalked it up and that oh, it must have been that i'm kind of partial so i think she did hit it not that she wanted to and she died many years before this anyway but it's something going to happen something wicked this way comes all I can say is put out as much positive energy to the world as you can. And God forbid something like this does happen. Send out love and light to victims, to everyone involved. Again, I'm not seeing something th this horrific. Maybe they don't want me to see it. But that happens. You know, sometimes we are, it's like when clients ask me certain things, it's like, I can tell the guides want to tell me something, but if the person knows that, they're going to mess it up. Or what they don't want to happen will happen. If they know too much information. I know this may sound like I'm talking in riddles. Bottom line I'm not seeing what some of the other psychics are seeing. Doesn't mean it's not going to happen. 
It's just that I am not seeing it through my eyes or through my sources or through my guides, what, you know, through Manny, Mo, and Jack. Um, and don't forget, you know, Shirley and <laughs> Hurley and Larry and Shemp show up sometimes too. But anyway. You guys are the best. You really are. I also have to apologize. There's a couple clients that I ho own homework to. I've kind of been delayed. Um, after I give a reading, I try and send out a synopsis, a summary, email summary of the actual reading. And then usually get lots of homework, assignments, books to read, or articles. I'll send articles to people. So I have... three emails that still have to go out so i apologize okay they haven't gone out yet but they will they will i promise and if anybody's interested in a reading let's get my website www.arthureaseyourmind.com there's a blue button at the top that says book an appointment click that and it gives you my availability the times I'm available, and it's usually in your time zone, so don't worry about that. And we take it from there. So, this is my Monday show. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Hope I wasn't too silly or crazy. I'm coming off of migraine medication, so all that being said. Thank you. I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Shashimi. Jankuya. Gracias. Whatever language you know. Most importantly, we're in this together. Don't forget that. All right? We're going to get through this. We're going to get through it together. So as you're knowing we're going to get through it together, Send out that white light and everything else that I've been talking about. And also in previous shows, I have mentioned five ways to keep out of overwhelm and resentment. I'm not going to repeat myself here, but I will put it again down in the about section. All right. So with all that being said, be kind to you, be kind to others. Take care of yourself. Have fun and stay amazing. Really, I love you all. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.